Hey everyone, it's Jenny Garcia, and in this video, I have a pocket letter that I made using one of my DIY kits. This one is the one that was made by Instagram, and this is a project for Tambo USA. And I was supposed to be inspired what by one of the design team members, and I got Danny from Pop Fizz Paper. And one of the things that she does often, and she does really well, are pocket letters. So I wanted to use a few of my cards because I love the paper pad so much in this um, kit that I often neglect the cards. And these cards are from the cute mini kit. And they're really good for this kind of project. However, for pocket letters, you use the baseball card page protectors and those spaces measure two and a half by three and a half so I had to take one quarter of an inch from each side I'm gonna try to use these wood veneer frames but they are way too big for these pockets I think you can get these pockets everywhere you know Staples Amazon um, maybe even the dollar store. I haven't noticed because I haven't been looking for that. And those cards in the middle, I want to do something else than cards. So I found this tag from Fancy Pants Design. In the bottom, I have also from Fancy Pants Designs uh, an, a tiny envelope. And I'm going to do part of this pocket letter because it's mostly to give you kind of an idea. On the back, you can add lots of things and on the website on the tumbo usa blog actually blog.tumbousa.com i wrote five tips for doing fun pocket letters so i'm gonna put the link below so you can check that out and that pocket in the middle is gonna go clear so i can make a shaker pocket on the back and the best adhesive to put things in this kind of material is the tumbo extreme adhesive and I ended up using one of the handmade embellishments that I made for one of the other videos. No, actually, I think I made that one for Pretty Little Studio, but it's the same concept of the circle handmade embellishments. So I put it directly on the page protector, and now I'm gonna do a shaker pocket, but I'm gonna do something that I can slide in, that way if they wanna use the confetti shaker, um, things inside they can just take it out cut the top and maybe even seal it back if they want to so the first one I, I was making was a little bit on the short side so I decided to trace one of the cards that I already put inside the pocket letter but at the end and you'll notice this uh, it's a little bit bigger but it's not a big deal then I just fuse uh, a little bit more on two of the sides and then it fits perfectly so remember to keep one side open and in this kit I have these this sequin mix and I already made an alternate sequin mix when I was asking for people on Instagram to vote for the sequin mix so I'm gonna use both of them and I'm actually gonna grab a few other extra things from my sequin organizer and I found those little can of uh, containers at the dollar store the ones that I'm using right now with the teal stars is from Amazon and I'll have a link below and I love for this organizer is honestly the best thing ever I'm so happy I actually have two of them I have the one with the very tiny containers and then I have one that has a few, a few, I think it has three sizes, three or four sizes. And I really like it. I'm going to add a little bit of everything. The cute girl paper pad, which is the inspiration for this whole kit, has a little bit of black so that is why even though it's super girly and cutesy, it has a little bit of black. And when you use your fuse tool, make sure you let it warm up correctly. I mean, 
warm up properly for at least 10 minutes or so. And this is how it looks, but now I'm going to try to put it in the pocket page and I'm going to notice that it's too big, so I'm just going to try to shake all the sequins to one side so I can get a little bit closer to the width of the pocket. And for this, don't use the guillotine, use a trimmer or just use your scissors. And now if it's perfect and if my pen pal wants to take it out and do something else with it, they can. If not, they can leave it like that. And one thing that we have way too much of, or at least me, is washi tape. So a good idea to add your pocket pages is washi tape. So I just use a tag, a little bit smaller than the pockets. And I wrapped around washi tape. My rule of thumb is to include more than 12 inches in case they want to use it on a layout, they have enough. And also a great idea is to share the goodies that you may have. If you're like me and most of the crafters I know, we have way too many things and we keep getting new things, so the, it keeps piling up. So sometimes giving a sample of one of your, of a few of your items is a good idea for your friends to try out, try out new things, you know, instead of getting the whole collection. And this is the back of the tag and the pocket letter. And I just wrote if you if you don't have any if you have nothing to give, give a smile. And then I, I made a border with XOXO and I always run it uh, again but in the opposite direction that way it's not warp or at least not as warp. And in this tag I'm gonna make little embellishments with some elements that I have and punches and I could have used a twine in there but I don't know it didn't occur to me and I already had that so these embellishments are super easy to make just take shapes and um, layer them together and I'm gonna color this bird wood veneer that I previously colored in pink but I'm gonna use the black on top of that to turn it black and I have a whole video on handmade embellishments if you want to see more ideas and you can do a bunch of these put them in a little baggie or put them like that you know I got this idea from Danny where she packages her goodies so well she makes like these little embellishments and she puts them like so professional in a little sticker sheet and everything so I figured that I wanted to do something like that and I've had in mind using my label maker from Dymo to make embellishments add them to my embellishments out use them off them and I'm so sorry and I wanted to use them more often with my project live spreads and I love layering these two. I have like a scallop border, EK Success border punch, and then I have a circle that it's a little bit smaller. This oval is really old, it's from Epiphany Crafts. And I love the epoxies from Epiphany Crafts, but they tend to get yellow, so I stop using them unless you want something like in a sort of vintage style. And you can layer the hearts and the punches and little word stickers and wood veneers, um, little things like buttons or enamel dots. And if you look to the right, I have an embellishment from Freckle Fawn that is made with felt. And that is, that is something that you could do at home too. And that idea just popped in my head. So I'll see if I can do something like that. For, the, for a future video. And I'm overthinking this way too much. I could have done 20 in the time I did 4 but I they need to be perfect. They don't need to be perfect but I'm like that. 
and the fun thing is that they do look handmade so I kind of like that element and now I'm gonna put them on the tag and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the adhesive dots that you can see on top and I'm gonna peel off one of the sides I'm gonna put it in the embellishment and then the part that still has the protective plastic the protective liner whatever you want to call it I'm gonna put a little bit of the Tombo extreme adhesive on it and now I'm gonna do it in real time so you can see it so I peel off one side put it in the embellishment and then I use the Tombow Extreme Adhesive and it's easier to put it on paper. I don't know why I kept insisting on doing it on the liner. And of course it worked in the previous three, but for this one <laughs> didn't really work. And you just need a tiny bit because that adhesive is really strong. And this, this is how cute and simple it is. And you can do like a whole pocket letter of those. And I wanted to add a few elements to the outside of the pocket, which is another thing that Danny does really often and she does really well. So I like that idea and I wanted to do it. And I decided to concentrate on the front of the pocket now because it kind of it's like the face of the pocket. The rest in the back you can add extra things. And I wanted to share these stickers so I cut off a, like a section of my sheet and I use a Tombow Extreme Adhesive to glue it down and on the top to like decorate it a tiny bit I'm gonna use the word home but now my friend can't use these two. And I kind of forgot that I had <laughs> that circle in the back. And I wanted to staple that, but then I remember if I staple it, it's not really going to go... Um, it has to go through the page protector, but also I don't think it would have... My staple would have gone down enough for me to staple it, so... I'm going to frame that happy. You can still take the card out, but it's like a nice extra detail. And I use the extreme adhesive for uh, fabric items all the time. And then this one I'm just going to add a little tiny heart so it doesn't look too plain. And as you can see I have a little box with lots of tiny hearts that I've made using my Lawn Fawn die which I also have link below and you can put a bunch of these tiny hearts in a glycine bag or something like that and put it in your pocket page too behind the cards and something Danny does that I haven't done before but I really like how it turned out is to put washi on the I'm gonna call it the spine I don't think it's called the spine it's where the holes are and then I really liked it. I did it in both sides. That way, I mean, it looked fine, the back, but I needed the color to be a little bit more pronounced. And you can punch out the circles if you want, but I just decided to leave it like that. And I wanted to add these tickets, but I didn't want to glue them down. And I didn't want to glue down the paper clip too, that way my friend can reuse them, so I just use washi. And then I put um, the tickets with the paper clip. And here I'm going to write washi tape, and I'm going to add it directly on the pocket and this is my Dymo label tape if you get the one from Smash 
the cane company one it's it doesn't glue any that well even on paper so i always use the extreme adhesive on the back of that one and i found this tiny die cut that is perfect to add like a little tag so i added to that specific card and i'm looking for thing more things to add because if you're familiar with uh my style, you will know that I can help myself and I have to keep adding things. And here you can see how easy it is to take that washi tape and the shaker pocket out. And this is the final result. I really like how it came out. It's like soft and girly and sweet. And of course you can make these using any scraps i think actually this is a great project for scraps you have small spaces you can do your own embellishments you can share out pieces of your collections so um i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching make sure you check out danny's channel and her pocket letters they are amazing thank you so much for watching again have an awesome day bye